Hello everyone and welcome back to another Cut It Out Monday video. For today's video I'm going to be sharing with you my mom's birthday card. So this is going to go up after she sees it, um, as well as most of my cards do when I give them out to people in case they happen to see it. So this card is um, from the uh, Make It Make It Now uh, section of Design Space. Um, the only thing I did is I removed one of the layers. I cannot remember the name of this card. I'm so sorry, guys. I really, really should remember to write it down. Um, and of course, my computer is doing something else. Otherwise, I'd look it up before doing this. So I did change. If I remember, I will. I will put a put the name down below. Um, I did change up by removing one of the layers in this card as well as just the colors of the card itself. Um, I wanted it to be kind of a very fun colored card but not super bright in color. So we have our white card base here as well as our background piece and all of our letters and little bits that come with it. Um, and uh, the, the envelope also comes with this Make It Now project. So this is a this is kind of a yellowish green. It looks very bright and neon especially compared to my post-it there, but um, I wanted a fun, fun color. Um, sorry, I thought I heard my kids. Give me just one second. Okay, I guess it was just <laughs> something falling for plastic being blown around in there. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put our card base together. As you can see here, I have little notches in this. This was a scrap piece of cardstock. I'm not too worried about it. It does get covered up so you don't see it other than on this side. And to be honest, I don't think my mom is going to pay that close of attention um, to it. But you could make this a darker colored card base if you want. You could put um, a matching color on the other side. I decided just to leave it as is. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fold this over the score line. Oh, it's my dryer. That's what it is. That'll be a fun project to share too when that is all done and finished, but it won't be done for a while. So I like to just go in there and kind of crease it, start the creasing um, with my fingers. I will pinch it closed with my fingers and then I will go over it with my bone folder. And I prefer to do it this way because then it makes it easier to see where the fold is when I go to put my background paper down. And I am doing this a little bit backwards. So this is going to be the inside of our card. Or, no, I was right. This is the outside of my card. Okay. So this is the outside of my card. And as you can see, once again, it doesn't line up. I don't know how well you can see that. It doesn't line up right. And I don't know what it is. So we will be going in and trimming it off. I have to say that is one of the downsides with um, having the machine cut out card bases and having the score line already put in there. If the score line wasn't in there, I could just fold it in half. But since it's such an intricate um, and floppy <laughs> detail, um, I prefer to leave the score, card, score line in there. But you could remove it if you wanted. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put glue around oh, on the textured side, excuse me. I'm going to have the texture side facing up. I'm going to put glue on all of my little scallop pieces here and then around the edge of my card in the hopes that, and I'm just going to be doing like a dot in each little oh, scallop there. My glue got all clogged up and now I've got the think it is time to bring out the new glue bottle. So this should hopefully just help with um, or this this will uh, obviously help hold it down but by doing just a dot in each little scallop then I don't have to worry so much about overflow. Of course it would help if I actually put them in the center of the scallops. And because I'm doing a dot, it doesn't dry as quickly. 
because there's a little more glue there than um, just putting a thin line. Okay, make sure we have the, whoops, the textured side up. And I'm going, hopefully you can see that, I'm going just right at the edge of my card base, or my card backing. You can put um, the glue around the outside here if you want, but I thought that would just be a bigger pain. Oh, it's got glue on my finger. So I'm just going to line this up as best I can. The nice thing about Tombow Mono is it does give you a little wiggle room. last mess. Okay, and everything is nice and straight. There's a little glue overhang, but that will not be a big problem. Again, I like to just take my powder tool here and just go over where the glue is. And it's a, it's on white and it's a light enough colored background that it won't be a big deal. Okay, pull that out of the way and get the glue off my fingers. We're going to set that aside for a moment. So we have our banner piece here, or our banner pieces, and this would go on top. Now I've been toying with putting the the inside pieces or leaving it as this, but I think I'm going to go ahead and put the inside pieces. Now this is going to take me a minute here. So for whatever reason, my Cricut machine does not like my really thick cardstock. I think I just have to remember to start putting it in as like chipboard. Because as you can see, hopefully, so you can see that it made the impression, but it did not cut through enough that I can just pop it out without ruining it. So I'm just taking my X-Acto knife here very carefully and I mean very carefully because my fingers right behind it I'm gonna take that and then just pop it out and if there's any little fuzzies like this one will have I'll just take my scissors and trim it off And that won't affect anything. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to remove all those little pieces. Come right back. Otherwise, this is going to be a really long video. Okay. I got all my little pieces out. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue my banner piece on. Makes it so much easier if that's already done. And like I said, I think that mine is just an issue with the thickness of my cardstock. Um, I've had this problem before. And again, I just I keep forgetting to go to a custom um, settings on my machine to um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, so I can pick chipboard or something so that it'll take the thicker paper. Okay, got glue all over the back of that. Now we're just going to line it up Make sure it stayed lined up on the other side press that down now for the little pieces here I have all my letters with their coordinating little little pieces there um, I'm just going to use my tweezers here and a two-way glue pin me zoom in so you can actually see what I'm doing and I'm just gonna add the pieces I'm gonna put the letters in and then add the pieces so that I can get them roughly where they need to be
I'm just going to put a little, little dab of glue and attempt to pick up pieces and line them up. as best I can. Squish them in there. And I want to make sure that I pop out the letters. Before it sets on the letter itself. And in fact, I'm going to Go ahead and turn that up a little. So we have our little R piece here. I'm gonna hold that down with my tweezers. Pick up the letter. Let's shift it just a little bit, but that's okay. Fine. Same with our D piece. And then we'll do our A. I do like to use the back of my tweezers to kind of give pressure because it gives a little more even pressure than my finger. And if there's glue on my finger, I don't have to worry about it touching the, uh, piece. the piece again and coming up. Ow, ow. There is our birthday banner. Let me get the letters out of the way here. Okay, and this is just going to go right across our, um, our, 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 what is that? Our, our cover. <laughs> Let me zoom you out just a little. But I am going to pop it up on some foam tape that I happen to have right here. So I'm going to cover the back and then I will um, trim some down for the lettering. Since this could be going through the mail, I never know if I'm going to actually head up and see my mom for her birthday. It just depends on life. <laughs> what her plans are that weekend, what my plans are. No. Um, I'm just going to make little slivers to fit behind the letters. I feel like that one is a little too wide. So I'm actually going to see if I can't cut them a little smaller, a little more narrow. There we go. I apologize if I'm off camera. I'm going to go ahead and do that to all my letters and I'll be right back. 
I almost forgot to turn the camera back on. <laughs> I did forget. Um, I went ahead, I put all of the foam on the back and I've taken off all the pieces. So now we're just gonna go ahead and drop it down apparently. It is kind of hard to hold on to. I'm gonna put it at just a little bit of an angle. I'm gonna go ahead and smush that down. So now we get this nice dimension on our card. I'm also going to take a stamp and stamp on the inside here. As soon as I find my stamp set, there it is. And this is from Simon Says Stamp. This is their birthday balloons stamp set. And I'm just going to add the um, one year older and wiser too. I mean, it is to my mom after all. I actually really like that sentiment. It's such a fun, fun sentiment. So there it is. And I'm gonna stamp that with some Versafine if I can find it. <laughs> actually, no, I'm gonna stamp it with the Lawn Fawn Jet Black ink that I have sitting out right here. Grab my block. My blocks are all over the place in the drawer. And I'm going to stamp test it out. Um, I haven't used this ink yet as well as the stamp so it'll be good to do a couple of good tests. And stamp it down. There we go. Fun little sentiment, and I have plenty of room. Let me zoom back out to write something. So there's our card. Now for our envelope or envelope, however you pronounce it. Move all my other stuff out of the way. There is a textured side to this as well as a smooth and I'm going to have the texture on the inside. Now because I put the foam tape on there, um, I am going to fold over the um, edges, but I'm not going to crease them too much. Um, just want to um, see how well the card will fit. Because again, if I am mailing this card, um, I should have, I need to know if it will fit. If not, then I know that I need to get a different envelope. Apologies for being off camera. The lines are hard to see once I put my hands in the way. Okay. And the top flap. So now I have my envelope roughly um, folded over and I haven't creased anything more than just my fingers. So I just want to see if it will fit and it will. So we can go ahead and give that a nice crease down Oof. just the way it is, very static in here. which should give it plenty of room. Now, as you can see, there's very little um, card here at the top, so I'm just going to take one strip of um, my thinnest tape, which is the, or my score tape here, which is the eighth inch, and I'm gonna put that along the inside here of this flap, once I find the end, uh oh, there it is. Just tear that off, do the same thing to this side. Okay. 
the top as close to the edge as possible. And I will add just a little bit here on the edge, not very high up, because again, it does not go very far over. But I do want this to be closed as tight, well, not as tight, as secure as I can get. And I've burnished all those down. I'm going to take off the backings. Move my extra light there because it's in my way. It's very staticky in this room. Everything is sticking. Oh, I can't wait for warm weather. It is so miserable outside and I've been so depressed. Because it's just so gray. So we're just going to fold that all down. And it doesn't stick to the inside, which is good, but we will give it a quick little test here. And it fits inside nicely. It's very cute. I'm going to have to make a little seal because I don't think this is quite going to sit where I want it to. But that's okay. So there you guys go. There is the first birthday card of the year. Well, the first one that I'm giving out and the matching envelope. I think it was going to be so much fun. And I just like bright, cheerful envelopes. I mean, the white ones are so bill. It's always a bill. <laughs> I don't want to see any more bills. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and we'll see you next time. Bye.